The name Casa Bonita means beautiful house, but it's more like a whole Mexican village with beautiful flowers, caves, elegant dining rooms, and a spectacular waterfall. My name is Mike Mason. I'm the general manager of Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita is a Mexican restaurant that's located in Denver, Colorado. The original one was built many years ago in a different state in Oklahoma. And eventually, through kind of evolution of different building of these restaurants, you uh, arrived at Casa Bonita, Denver. Have you ever been in a restaurant with a waterfall? Well, friends, you're in one now. You're not going to want to miss our amazing waterfall here at Casa Bonita, where cliff divers plunge 30 feet from platforms on the cliffs into the rocky waters below. The original owner, Bill Waugh, who was the, the brainchild behind all of this, uh, actually wanted to have a type of establishment where families could go, mom and dad could take the kids, and it was something very unique and very different. At the time he built this restaurant, there were very few Mexican restaurants around, uh, let alone something of this size. That's about 52,000 square feet, and each area of the restaurant is specifically themed to uh, a place or architecture that you would find in Mexico. Each area of the restaurant has a specific name to it. What you see up here is our palace area. Up uh, behind us we have the, uh, the terrace area, which is basically designed like terraces. Now, this area up here is the Gran Vista. And if you see this, this, this island overlooks most of the restaurant here, you can have a very, it's a very good vantage point from right here. This area is the rooftops, and the architecture over here is taken from Puerto Vallarta, specifically the churches, the influence of, of stained glass, gold domes. That's the Cartman table, right? That is correct. In rooftops here, we also have a table that's the Cartman table from the South Park episode. Casa Bonita, come on, you guys. Oh, awesome. Wow, cliff divers. This area is the cliffside area, and it is modeled after the, uh, the rock formations and the cliff formations you'd find in Acapulco. And as you see here, the main waterfall comes down, and divers just getting ready to throw a dive there. Now, the original design of the restaurant was done by Phil Phillips and his crew, and it was designed as a, uh, a Mexican village during a festival. So you, so you see all the aspects of everything you'd see in Mexico, but that's kind of the event that's going on within the restaurant every night. You know, this is, this is the wishing well in the, in the plaza of Casa Bonita, and the wishing well actually has a monster in the bottom of it. So you want to check that out. Right up these steps is Black Bart's hideout and Black Bart's cave. And this is a fairly infamous place because the uh, Black Bart himself hides out here quite a bit. Kids go through, but they kind of do it at their own risk. As we walk around here, you might notice that we have quite a few birthday parties going on, and it's quite a popular place for the, especially for the children's birthdays. On a Saturday, we may have as many as 15, 16 birthdays. You won't go away hungry from Casa Bonita if you choose one of our most popular entrees, the beef or chicken deluxe dinner. It's an all-you-can-eat feast, and that's just for starters. Because anytime you want more, just raise the flag at your table and we'll bring you free refills of any deluxe dinner item. It's a great value. Our serving process here is, is, is quite unique and it is a, uh, a necessity because of the amount of customers we serve. Uh, in a given Saturday night, we may serve 5,500, 5,700. 
This is the Mexican food serving line, and behind the Mexican food serving line is the Mexican food kitchen where we prepare all the food. So everything that, that is prepared back here in the kitchen comes up on this line, the orders come up on this monitor, and then they actually put the meals together and get them to the customers as quickly as possible. On the other side over here, we have the American food line, and that's where all the American food meals are cooked and prepared. Uh, we have to move people through very quickly. And we accomplish that by having a serving line as the customers come in that they go through to actually get their original meals. Once they come to the table, then they have a designated server that takes over from there. And... All right, here we go. Let's go on over and watch her cook some sopapillas up here. Now, this is where the world-famous Casa Bonita sopapillas are cooked. And it's actually a very specific recipe. It had to be uh, tailored to accommodate the altitude we're at, 5,280-some feet. Uh, it's cooked in, in oil at 365 degrees. And uh, because of the, the contents, you see they puff up uh, and, and, and form a pillow shape. And from there, the customers will take and put honey in that we buy specifically that's, uh, that's uh, brought down from Boulder for us. It's a regional honey. And uh, they are certainly, uh, we believe, our signature item. I started employment here on December 10th of 1975. It's approaching 39 years that I've worked here. My first exposure to, and, uh, to, the, to the restaurant was coming here on my 15th birthday, which was a real cool experience. And it was something I just really felt I wanted to do was work here. I just started in, I started on the floor as a server and slash bus person and eventually moved to the kitchen and eventually moved to the line and was asked to be part of the management group. And that was, I think, back in 1992 or 93 as the general manager. We are very fortunate. We have a very low turnover of employees here. And I really do think that's because what the environment is. It's a very positive environment. You go to work and you enjoy what you do. Huh? You want to be interviewed? Oh, no, okay. Good, good. good. <laughs> Alex is good. He's one of our very best. My name is Alex Perez. I'm a server in the Casa Bonita. How long have you worked at Alex? Uh, 20 years. Why have you worked at Casa Bonita for so long? Well, that's, uh, I think this is the best place at the world my, my last uh, 20, <laughs> 21 years or 20 years. It's uh, very, very, very comfortable work yeah. here and very nice to work here too. I've been working here uh, the better part of 15 years. I started in January of uh, the year 2000. You know, originally that wasn't my intention to be here this long, but uh, it just became part of my life in a, just such a fun environment, almost like a family. This is our main area, our, our waterfall area right here, the main focal point of Casa Bonita. We have our 30-foot waterfall, our main stage, our dive platform. Every 15 minutes we have a performance off the main stage. We have different conflicts between the bad guy, uh, Black Bart, and, and the good guy, the sheriff, and it's typically over something like uh, sopapillas that were taken. <laughs> ah, these sopapillas are all mine. Now I'm gonna take these back into my cage. Bart, now you're caught again. Oh, darn it, sheriff. Or if it was a pirate show or uh, an escape gorilla, we have Chiquita, our escape gorilla, that, that gets loose here, or rather our gorilla that tends to escape and get loose. <laughs> And all those are geared around families and entertaining the kids, and, and all of them are really kind of uniquely different because they involve uh, live actors, uh, live performers. I saw the South Park episode one day, and that night me and my friends decided to come eat here. And I saw an ad saying they were auditioning divers, so I auditioned the next week and got the job. So I've worked here ever since. Before I started here, I was more of a gymnast, but I had done a season of diving in high school. Hi. 
It's pretty fun, especially on weekends when there's a lot of people here. It makes the shift a lot easier if you can juggle fire because it's less climbing the rocks and they give you a raise to learn to juggle. The Denver Casa Bonita has outlasted all the other ones, in my opinion, because it is, it is so ornate, so unique, and it is such a destination restaurant. Through very little advertising, pretty much everyone around the United States and even around the world has heard of or knows something about Casa Bonita. How long have you been coming here? Since I was probably three, and I'm going to be 20 soon, so... 17-ish years? My dad, my dad actually worked here. He's got his name on a honor, like a, the employee honor roll. Okay. It's, it's a whole experience. It's the atmosphere. We, we, mm. we bring people up here from CU and uh, from out of state. They all want to come here, so we bring them up here. Do a lot of people know about it from South Park? Yeah. 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 Everyone's like, oh, Casa Bonita, I got to go there. You know, it's interesting because with, with the South Park episode, which kind of came by surprise because they called one day and said, hey, we got uh, this opportunity to, you know, to showcase the restaurant. It's Matt and Trey's favorite place in the world. And we took a chance on it and, and did it because, you know, we'd seen some of the shows they had done. I had seen some of the shows they'd done, and they're not exactly sometimes forgiving. Mm -hmm. But it turned out it was a very positive show, and they, in fact, did uh, really represent the restaurant very, in a very positive light. Oh, scary! Look at Skeleton! Oh, man, I'm so scared! It's always funny seeing how do you compare you know, your your sales to, like, like wh where are you supposed to project what you're supposed to do? You know, like, uh, how do you know that on this date you're gonna do $15,000, you know? But one thing that we have here that's kind of crazy is we have like our South Park tracker. If that episode that we were featured in, which is, you know, I think episode 7-Eleven, I think, or if that airs, we have to prepare on being at least 10% up in sales. So it is kind of funny to look at. It's like we have to track a cartoon to determine the staffing levels we have to prepare for. Well, kid, you made an entire town panic. You lost all your friends, and now you're going to juvenile hall for a week. <laughs> Was it worth it? Totally. You know, I believe Casa Bonita will continue to be very successful. Uh, this is 40 years, and in, in restaurant life, 40 years is like, uh, you know, 150 years to a human. Uh, there's not a lot of restaurants that make it 40 years. But I see the fact that even through the changes in, in times of coming from when this restaurant opened, there was no such thing as cell phones or video games or anything like that, to this current time where cell phones, video games, and MP3 players and everything are quite commonplace, that it still remains very, very popular with families and children. So I see us having a very bright future. Can you make my wife disappear? <laughs> and I believe that, you know, 40 years ago, they captured lightning in, in a bottle here. And despite the attempts of different ownership or different people that have come in here and tried to kind of change things, the, the philosophy, the recipe, the you know, the core values have all stayed the same, so 40 years later, we're still doing the same thing, and it's still uh, it's still successful, you know? Well, that's the end of our tour here at Costa Bonita. We sure hope you enjoy visiting. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.